All right, what's up guys? Claire here. Hope you guys are all having a good day. So in this video today, we're gonna talk about uh, what you should be working on and what uh, I think are the more important things to focus on once you hit 60. Uh, I intended to do a little bit of a gap between these, uh, but I didn't get to put out a video last week. Uh, I was waiting for a new mic and some components and stuff to come in, so I wasn't able to record. Uh, so I definitely got my character a little further ahead than I had originally intended between videos. Uh, but I'm going to do another video once I finish leveling up my hunter, um, and I'll really walk through what to do at 60 uh, for any of you that are still curious and have any uh any questions um actually if you are curious about the leveling experience at all because uh, i decided not to just post a bunch of leveling because that's uh, at least in my opinion i'm not uh super thrilled about leveling even if it's super quick like it is this expansion but if you are curious about leveling um either as the campaign or just straight threads of fate um, you can come over to my Twitch. I am going to be, str I stream, currently I'm streaming every day of the week, 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific, Monday to Friday, and then late morning Pacific, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, so you can come check that out if you're curious or not. Um, but other than that, let's jump into the video and talk about my crucial stuff to work on once you hit 60. Alright, so I think there are three like really crucial things to work on uh, as soon as you hit 60 uh, to start getting towards doing more endgame content or, you know, whatever you're really interested in. Uh, my biggest focus has always been uh, Mythic Plus, though I am inter interested in getting into more into rating and other stuff like that. Um, but I think there's three really important things to work on. Uh, as soon as you hit 60 to get into any end game content. First and foremost, I think you just have to raise your item level. Run Mythic Zeros if you have to. Uh, run some like twos and threes if you can get into them. Or, you know, if you have friends or guildies that are willing to like run you through some content, super, super good idea. I think that 175 to 185 item level is really like where you want to get to as quick as possible because that'll help make Torghast easier, especially those first like four, five layers. Um, it'll make it easier to complete them and survive them, uh, which will then be able to get you the soul ash you need to upgrade your legendary. Plus a lot of the legendary um, recipes, they dropped from a lot of dungeons as well. Yeah, so I think really focusing on item level you know, playing with some friends, doing absolutely whatever you have to, to get uh, to like one, I'd say like 180 is a good spot to be at. Uh, and the nice thing is while doing that, it also improves the next two things on my list. Uh, while raising your item level, it makes it, uh, and doing dungeons, it makes it, you know, like I said, easier to get Torghast layers done, which uh, my second option was, or my second tip was legendary. Getting your legendary, whatever your best legendary is for the content that you want to do, 100%, like, get to that as quick as possible. Know where it drops from and try and, you know, farm that location until you get the recipe. Uh, currently, the, um, like, armor pieces and the missives are pretty inexpensive on the auction house. At least on my server, uh, I think my necklace or my uh, my neck was, I don't know, like maybe 15,000 gold. And then the missives were like only a couple thousand gold each. Like it was really inexpensive and I just bought them. Uh, if you can make them, that's even better. It saves you way more money in the long run because you'll have to buy every individual item level to upgrade it. But yeah. Getting your legendary, super useful, super important. It's going to help, uh, you know, it depends what you're playing. 
uh, healing and your healing throughput or your heal, you know, your passive damage could go up. Uh, on my Demon Hunter, this just increases my AoE and single target damage by quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I definitely think it's the second on the list because uh, Tar Torghast is a not super easy if you're like really low level. I mean, the lower floors are, but they also reward less Soul Ash, and you can only do them once per week. So if you have, you know, a higher item level, and then you work through the layers, and you get all the way up to like the fifth floor, which or you know fourth, fifth floor, and you do both wings in that week, fourth, fifth floor, you know, by your second week it being sixty, and having done those, you're gonna have enough Soul Ash to like create and probably upgrade your legendary right away. And that brings me to the third one, which is also improved by doing Mythic Dungeons and doing, you know, if you decide to LFR or whatever, uh, and that's your Renown and your Conduits. Because, like, your Renown increases um, your Soulbind traits, or, like, how many rows you have for Soulbind traits, which are huge. Um, it also gives you um, increased stamina. Lots of like really useful things for combat. So yeah, I get, you know, at uh, four more round levels, I'll be able to get the my best in slot soulbind tree completed, and that's going to increase my DPS by a fair amount, uh, which will then help me be able to push into higher level content afterwards. All right, uh, so I know this is just gonna be a short, uh, pretty quick video. Uh, I intend to do a much more in-depth in the next couple weeks about how to really push up your item level and how to, you know, what to do for Renown, what to do for Torghast. Uh, and I'll do that once I finish leveling up my Hunter, uh, just to show you guys. I just wanted to get this video out there, give you a quick like, okay, these are the few things, as soon as, if you hit 60, like, pretty soon or you just hit 60 or you're like thinking about playing and you're not sure what to do when you hit 60 I just wanted to give you a couple of quick tips uh things that I think are the most important things to work on uh, as soon as you get there if you're interested in doing like end game content I, I do want to add a side note that the uh, like main story campaign for whichever covenant you do will also give you renown as well so if you're not you know super interested in just like pushing dungeons like repeatedly or you're you know you know maybe you want to take a little break from doing that you can always just work on the main story camp uh, main quest campaign for your whatever covenant you're in and that'll help give you some renown as well which is at least pushing yourself towards that uh doing it does also give some item level upgrades but they don't get nearly as high and nearly as quickly as if you were doing like Mythic Zeros, for instance. Um, so I think best bet, uh, if you want to just like boost up and get going into content right away, you know, find some friends or guildies that want to run some content with you uh, and do some Mythic Zeros, LFR the raid, because uh, all the wings are available for LFR. And in my experience that I've had so far, LFR has been pretty easy. Just make sure you watch up, you know, look up some of the mechanics read the adventure guide or whatever you need to do but yeah hope you guys enjoyed hope or found you know anything of this to be useful uh if you have any questions you know throw them down in the comments below i'm happy to answer absolutely anything i can uh if you want to chat with me you know i'm gonna be live seven days a week for the next month come hang out yeah Hope you guys have a good one uh, and I'll catch you guys in the video next week.